So here's my Mercedes uh, GL450 towing my uh, newly purchased uh, minivan. This is the second one that I have now. Uh, this one, I think it's the LEX model. Uh, I mean, the EXL model, which actually has uh, more options. Uh, got some dents out there, but it should be okay. Like on the fender, it's not, it's not really that obvious. Yep. So we're gonna find out what caused the uh, power steering leak on this one. Okay, so, yep, got a lot of stuff going on here, so, pretty much this hose is busted, needs to be replaced. Terribly wet out there. So basically, right now there's no power steering. So I don't know if I'll probably uh, spray some brake cleaner in here and see what how 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 fast it's going. Now it's dry. This one gets wet so fast. Probably it needs a new power steering pump. This uh, temporary solution. This is a uh, silicone tape somehow. And then we'll put it. The leak is like holding up. Here I am. I'm giving her a bath. Uh, we'll see how it looks like after the bath. But the hood is actually really bad, and the scratches here. Yeah, we'll go away with the. Putting in some clear coat, yeah. Forty foot be buff. Yeah, there are some scratches over here. The wheels are corroded, but should be okay. Oh, so, so you could tell that this is a high mileage vehicle because the front has so many rock chips, including the bumper. Um, <clears throat> so it has like around two hundred thirty-four thousand miles, and yeah, those are highway miles. So, yep, probably missed. This hood basically needs to be painted, or I could find one in the junkyard now. Maybe there's probably the same color as this one. Um, and then the windshield is cracked, maybe because uh, it was like driving too fast on the freeway. And then the roof is also in bad shape. Um, yep, so dirty. Yeah, I haven't actually cleaned it up. And then this one. Yeah, the uh, the paint actually chipped off. I don't know if it is was repainted before, not professionally done, but looks like it was repainted before. And then we got some uh, weird things here, but <coughs> you'll know uh, around 234,000 miles. And then this door has a problem where the cable is actually loose, so I don't want to open it, but this cable here is out of track so then uh, yeah this strip is bad it's corroded really bad um, but this side is like in pretty good shape except for some chips here. yeah I mean for this age mileage I don't really care about it and this one is missing the emblem nice that it has a towing hitch but I don't know I mean if it's good for your transmission probably not 
but luckily it survived. So we got some rust in here developing. See that rust trips in here. And very common, but uh, not that bad compared to the other one. And these scratches. I think I could just polish this one. Maybe it will go away. Polish and buff. Yep. This one too. This one. After this one. But uh, it's not that bad. The bumpers, I don't know why they're loose, but too many ruptures. Inside is very dirty. It's very dirty. Actually, I vacuumed this one to remove some of the uh, heavy. Uh, some of the particles but yep it's in the farm so yep this is how it looks like it needs to be cleaned somehow it smells like a farm you know you could smell the the stray the straw bales and some cow manure probably I think but luckily there's no cow manure in here but it smells like one This one is, oh, yeah, this one is really hard to up. Okay, now I activated it. <laughs> I cannot hold it. Okay. Now I can force it. So that's the problem. So, yep, I don't know what's the problem with it, but probably because of this dirty floor, so it won't open up. It's quite shy, maybe. And it's cleaning. The leather is actually in pretty good shape. I like this one because it has a bench set uh, compared to my other one and it has that option the seat belt for the middle seats yep. and the one at the back too is good needs cleaning too so dirty <clears throat> and what i like about that area over there is that there's a 220 oh man a 120 volt power supply and yeah see that one that's really bad I think my brown leather is actually in good shape compared to this one. This one is really vinyl, not leather. I think the brown one that I got is like, I think it's leather. You could tell. Yep. So yeah, it's, yeah. I think over the years, Honda's quality pretty much went downhill, I think, interior wise. Even the steering wheel emblem out there, it faded. I mean, my BMWs are way better than that. So I'm driving my Honda right now and there's no check engine light, uh, there's a reminder and then I have the echo light on and the power steering is really super super stiff if you like make a turn and you're like at a slow speed or even at park. Yeah, this needs a new power steering pump. Um, I don't see any leaks on the rack yet, but um, I don't think that uh, is the reason why the steering is so stiff. I think the pump for this is toast. I don't know what happened. So you get a TPMS light, and then it's due for an oil change. Um, 
you see. So that's like 234,659 miles. And the engine actually runs pretty well, and also the transmission. So this is a VCM engine, I think. And I was surprised. Any slippage at all at this mileage. Major issue I have right now is this one the power steering, and of course, no, I cannot actually open the, the sliding doors, both of them. So, major, major issue. Yep, we got the echo light on. I think if I am like slowing down or coasting, yeah, the echo light turns on. There, it has not, uh, I mean, it wasn't muzzled, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I cannot like turn this with one hand, I need to turn up my phone. 